Welcome everyone to part number 9? Yes, it is part number 9 of Psycho Enigma's Blaze Black Nuzlocke Run. In the previous episode, we uh, did some bits around Nakarine City. We caught Pokemon and we did some off screen grinding. Well, by we, I mean I. Um, and uh, here's the team Fohawk, learnt nothing new. Neither did Miss Snakey. Uh, Flappers, I think me first was in the last video. Same as Miracle Shockwave. And Volcano, well, it was the uh, Pokemon we caught in the previous video, and Volcano has proved to be a beast. Um, a rather large and huge beast. Uh, speaking of Volcano, I'm going to put him up front, actually. Well, up front is in the second slot, because we have a battle now. And, uh, because we're going to try and go into the gym. And, of course, we're going to have a battle against N. And before I do that, right, why can't I walk that way? Before I do this battle against N, I, of course, want to... Make sure I have enough healing items. Oh, we don't really have that much money. We'll beat the gym trainers and then we'll have enough money. And N, of course. I don't know, we'll see. So we'll, uh, we'll come back then. Run and a wild N appears with his creepy ass music and everything. Alright. Want to see things no one can see? The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The truths of how trainers should be. And future where Pokemon become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yes. That's so. I think my friends and I should test you to see if this future is true too. Oh, whatever. I don't know, but Pokemon Trainer N has appeared. And uh, he's going to send out his Drillbur and his Bronzor. I, you know, I'm totally scared of them. If you hear crunching, my apologies. I'm eating, a, eating crisps. I've like barely eaten all day. And I thought that I would start recording and then get food. Because I'm a genius like that. So we're going to wing attack this Drillbur all up in its grill and uh, incinerate both the Bronzor and the Drillbur. Yeah, that's proven difficult. Yeah, we win. We win quite nicely, actually. And uh, I'm not quite sure what Lenora's levels are. I'm pretty sure she has like level 22s. So, and you need to be over leveled for this gym. It's tough. I'm talking seriously tough, Jim. We'll, uh, we'll take out the team pole. And I'm pretty sure this is the same as like Pokemon Black and White, where N uses Pokemon from sort of around this area. Because I know in the original game he has a Timber, a team pole, and someone else. And N always uses Pokemon he's caught from the surrounding area. I'm not sure if it's the same in the hack. But, ah well. Uh, we are taking on everything. Volpix. Volpix and Zora, and the Volpix has Drought, and I've always wanted a Volpix with Drought. Because I think that'd be amazing to use with Solar Beam. Uh, let's wing attack the Volpix, and let's. Now that there's, you know, the sunlight is strong, we are going to be a freaking beast with Volcano. Yeah. If that Oko's the Zora, that just proves dominance. Oh, the Zora lived. Well, this is just a walkover. This is just, this is an embarrassment, N. Come on, man. I thought you were going to be better than this. Like, we can just double quick attack it to finish it off. No, not the extra sentry. That would be really stupid of me. Yes, uh, N proving to not really be a challenge. I know we're overleveled, but we need to be at this point. So crunchy. Mild sweet chili flavour baked stars are amazing. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation with that to change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Now I know what power I need. Zekrom. The legendary Pokemon that along with the hero created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero. And you and I will be friends. So at the moment, we're all like, and WTF are you going on about, bro? Zekrom? But uh, it all becomes clearer later. So we will quickly heal everyone up. Not that we took much damage at all. And of course the three main players in this gym are going to be Miss Snakey, Volcano, and Fohawk. Fohawk for his power. And uh... No, 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 no. We want three super potions. Fohawk for his power. Volcano for power and bulk. And Miss Snakey for bulk. Yeah. That's all we really need. You know, just a few more, few more super potions. And now we're going to go take on the gym trainers. Where is everyone at currently level-wise? 22 for everyone. 
Uh, flappers takes a lot of... Yeah, Flappers and Miracle, because of their stats, really aren't going to see much action in this gym. So, yeah, Miss, Miss Snakey actually needs a bit more focus to get to 23. I'm hoping 23 on Miss Snakey, Fohawk, and Volcano for the actual gym battle. And we're going to have a bit where this guy is just going to rab it on. Like, th this, this bit's pretty dull. He's going to talk about, oh, it's a dragon, and, and it's a meteorite, and, and this white stone does nothing. And for now, you think it does nothing. And back here is the gym, and I'm Lenora's husband, and she is amazing. J j shut up. I'm here to gym battle, bro. And here's Clyde, and he's going to be like, hey, have a fresh water. Water is good. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. This is between you and me. Normal types are weak against fighting types. Fighting types show up around Pinwheel Forest. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up, books, reading, whatnot. We got a Cyndaquil instead of either a Chimchar, um, Torchic, or I don't know, the other one, Tepig. And to be fair, I like, I'm good with what I got. You know, I'm cool with it. Let's growth up a couple of times just to set up so this gym battle becomes a lot easier for us. And something I may have pointed out as wrong information earlier on in the run. Does Leaf Tornado in this game have 100% accuracy, or, or am I insane? No, it has 90 accuracy. For some reason, I thought we had 100 earlier. I don't know. Anyway, cut, and we're going to Oko everything, and hopefully level up Miss Snakey this battle, or get a very close to it. Yes, let, let's Oko stuff, because Okoing is fun. One hit KO in Marvaz. Okay, so the Lickitung takes it. Knock off my Miracle Seed. That's just rude, man. Leaf Tornado, that. And the one problem that I'm having, I was going to use Miss Snakey to bulk out uh, Lenora's Buffalant. And there's a small problem with that. Buffalant has Sap Sipper. So if you try to Leech Seed it, all it's going to do is uh, is just raise its attack. Which is not cool. Anyway, nice to meet you in Pokemon. This is the book that Clyde had said to read. And uh, here we go. There's a memo between the pages. Gym leaders, this is the this is Lenora. I had four memos in the library. Can you solve the question? This is the first question. What's the first Pokemon you saw in this gym? And it's somewhere in the middle row. And normally you would first see Patrat. So you come to this book, the biology of Patrat. Even though the first Pokemon we saw was an Apom, it doesn't matter. So fire burns from its body and everything. And I would say Cyndaquil if a fire is burning from its body. But you're going to want to come up here and... Uh, you want to talk to this woman because she's reading a book about the structure of locomotives. Yes, it's the correct answer. Fire will burn in its body. It will give off smoke from its head. And yes, she will let us read the book behind her as well as long as we battle her. Which is simple because I'm always up for Pokemon battles against the chicks. And of course you can have Ditto. Well, you see, uh, Ditto. That, that imposter ability. I love the imposter strategy Ditto. It basically transforms without having to transform. But, uh, yeah, we, we have a volcano, so your whole strategy is null and void. Flame charge. Let's, uh, let's get our speed up a little bit. And there, uh, you know, there, there goes that. And I believe Ditto gives speed EVs. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, Smeargle, bro, you don't stand a chance. Incinerate. Aeroblast. That did, like, nothing. Smeargle's attack rose, but speed fell. That, that's good. The, the ability Moody is okay, like if you get accuracy rising or things like that. Whenever it does anything else, it's pretty bad. Uh, cast form... Uh, Go into Fohawk. Fohawk can wing attack, and I don't know why, but wing attack, whenever I see wing attack on a bird Pokemon, I, I think it's bitch slap. So we can just like bitch slap this floating ball sack all over the place. So yeah, there goes cast form. I love the way the female version looks like it still has a ball sack on it. You know, I don't know whether that's just me, but uh, we will not learn Whirlwind, and we will stay in against Podagon. Download raises special attack, and this, well, uh, just, uh, Psybeam, that's nothing to worry about. Wing attack. I just had a thought to myself that Porygons can normally carry uh, silly, silly moves, like that, that could have had something ridiculous to take down Fohawk. Could have had anything ridiculous to take down anyone, though. Moving on, though, and, um, uh, what I expect from a challenger like you. This is the third question. If we heat, uh, if you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is it? Uh, almost anything microwavable. Actually, no. Delicious and microwavable do not belong in the same sentence. 
So this one's sweet for Pokemon because it's the only other one that makes sense. There's a memo on the cover. You managed to get here without being tricked by the questions. Now this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two back, two backward, one to the left, two forward, one to the right, and one backward. Now where is it? The hint. Find it by yourself. And if you followed my exact routes, just, just, just do this. Just go up to this girl and uh, look at your Pokémon's health. That's always essential to realise that they need healing. Because I was about to go into that battle without healing them, and that would have been very stupid of me. So we'll use our potions, uh, one on Fohawk, one on Miss Snakey, and one on Volcano. Job done. So we're going to battle this girl. I'm wondering, did you see the last memo and come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge and gym if you win against me? Of course I can. Come at me, sis. Yeah, a little preschooler or a school kid. Whatever. But Neri is never much of a challenge, but Lopunny is a cool Pokemon. I wouldn't mind a Lopunny. And of course you're going to endure, because you're evil. Only evil Pokemon endure. So yes, that's, that's down. Jigglypuff. It's going to Fohawk, because my memory says that he is closer to levelling up. I'm getting the Intimidate off on a Jigglypuff, because that's... Oh! Oh! Beast Mode, activate Fohawk. You and that bitch slap. We almost got 50 attack. And Delcatty. That'll give us some nice XP for Volcano. Let's go extra sensory, because it's our strongest move. Alright, face damage-wise. And the double slap. Oh, of course you're going to hit four times, you know. Uh, ooh, gah. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it with that much health, just in case it gets like a five-time hitting crit double slap. Oh, you're going to sing. That's always fun. Wake up. Damn it. And you're going to attract. Oh, that's just spiffing. Wake up. If you were getting slapped in the face, you would wake up. Good boy. And you flame charge. Even better. And you win. Yes, Volcano. I bred you to be a winner. Clefairy. Get out of here, man. Girl. Thing. I don't know. Sing! Oh my god! Volcano, you cannot be sleepy. You have just slept, damn it. At least Double Slap is doing less from this Clefairy, but of course you'll hit five times. That's ridiculous. Wake up! Wake up. Wake up. Oh, come on! Volcano. Right, I'm telling you. You can. Hey, there we go. He would have died if he didn't wake up there, I'm pretty sure. Level 24 for Volcano. And wants to learn Defense Curl. Volcano, what have I told you? You are a beast. Not a curled up in a ball, pathetic little... Rawr. Anyway. Final book. The biology of Tepig. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off flames from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. There's a memo between the pages you managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Jim Lee and Nora. Click. There's a switch under the book. And the slowest moving bookcase in the history of absolutely everything. Ah. These crisps are tasty. I'm hungry. I need more. Feed. Me more. So let's heal our Pokemon up real quick. Get all our PP back before we battle Lenora. And I will get to Lenora and I will go get food because I can't recall on an empty stomach. Like, I, I don't concentrate. And if I can't concentrate, Pokemon will die. If Pokemon die, I'll be sad. And if I'm sad, I won't record. You know after the traumatic experiences of all my other Pokemon dying in this run, I didn't record for like a week. You know, and you guys want these videos. So you're going to want me to succeed and not be sad. So we'll come down here and we'll completely miss the staircase, naturally. Right, strategy for Lenora. Strategy for Lenora is simple. Uh, she has two Pokemon that will start off and get a double intimidate up. I think Miss Snakey's a uh, defensive bulk. You know, she's got 69, uh, 69, ha ha ha, um, 69 HP, decent defences at 45, and Fohawk, Fohawk Volcano, sorry, will be able to do damage to both Pokemon with Incinerate and get his speed up with Flame Charge, so that will be good, and we'll use Fohawk later on, so yes, I'm going to grab some food or eat, and I'll be back, so I'll speak with you all shortly.
I just had like the tastiest cheesy barbecue wrap ever. I'm talking like fillets of chicken with some breadcrumbs and some melted cheese and some honey barbecue sauce. And, oh, it was good. Oh, right, focus, focus. Off of the food onto Lenora. Right, we will do this. We're gonna win. Welcome, the director of the Nakarin Museum and the Nakarin's gym leader is me, Lenora. Well then, challenger. I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you've so lovingly raised. Bring it on, Lenora. Enigma vs. Lenora. For the second gym badge in the Unova region. And look at her. She's big, evil, and she has blue hair. She's like Marge Simpson. Only she has a museum. And she is much lower level than I remember. Okay. This could be, um... Interesting. I've just realised both my Pokemon on the field have 69 HP. Nah, nah, 69, my favourite number. And oh, the double intimidate is crippling for two reasons. One, it's a double intimidate. Two, it's freaking boring. Um, let's leech seed Herdia and let's incinerate both Pokemon because actually no, let's flame charge. Let's flame charge a Stantler. Because, to my knowledge, this Herdia is kind of like just a support. It will sit there and just helping hand things, which is really bad. Especially when it's going to, like, you got Pokemon that are retaliating all over the place. But yeah, we're going to need to avoid that. And we're going to need to get some big damage off. So we got the Leech Seed up on, uh, on Herdia. That can just sit there. We'll take that down when it needs to be. Because the biggest threats are Buffalant and Watchhog. Watchhog... Is like a troll hog. It will put you to sleep so much. It's actually really bulky. And Buffalant has Sap Sipper. So it'll be the case. If I'm going to Leech Seed you. And Buffalant's going to be like. Nope. My attack's going to rise instead. Which is really not cool. But we're going to growth on uh, on Miss Snakey. And uh, oh the extra sentry. That's an interesting choice of move. And now you're retaliating. All they want to do is like. Retaliate all at Miss Snakey. What is that about? I'm going to heal her up, actually, because I really can't have a dying on me. Uh, so I want you to... I want you to Leaf Tornado the Stantler. And I'll use Volcano's turn to... Heal you up, because I don't want you to die. And I've just discovered another bag of crisps in my room. I, I won't eat in this video, I'll merely open them. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot to get a drink as well. My voice is always bad after eating and, like, recording and eating at the same time. Not at the same time, but you know what I mean. Oh, dear. Oh, the retaliate. I need to make sure everyone is fully healed because, uh, yeah, she's going to send up Bofflant. Bofflant with his massive attack is not going to be good. Uh, let's get Volcano healed up. Let's get some incin Incinerate Rock in. Because that Bofflant, with its huge attack, is going straight for the retaliate at one of my Pokemon. Oh, the helping hand raise. Oh, God, no. Please, just... Whoever you attack, survive. Survive. Oh, we got the Citrus Berry of Buffalant. Oh, nice. Wait, Rock Tomb? Okay, that's... Oh, God, that did a lot of damage. That did a ton. Oh, and now, now this is awkward. Because there's a bee barrel on the field. And you have a water type move, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, 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 right. Now I could... I need to switch out Volcano, that's for sure. So what we're going to do... We're going to Leaf Tornado B-Barrel. And we're going to get Volcano out of there. And we are going to send... Uh, the, the Buffalo has Rock Tomb. And I don't want to send him Fohawk just yet. Ah, uh, right. You know, I don't want to do this, but I'm sending him flappers for death fodder. I don't want to. I feel as if I have to. Which is the unfortunate thing. I want the leaf tornado hit. Okay, come on. We got one growth up. We got one growth. Come on, come on. Yes, the bee barrel. Oh, we got a crit. I don't know if that was necessary or not. But we got a crit. Oh, and the retaliate. Oh, 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 Miss Snakey just hanging on. Oh, that's amazing. Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to Leech Seed Watchhog. And Flappers, you're just going to be needed as fodder. I'm really sorry, but you're going to be used to heal up Miss Snakey. Because hopefully they'll attack my primary Pokemon. 
Okay, the, get the leech seed off on the watch hog. Um, if they both go for retaliate, this is gonna suck. Okay, no, he's gone for crunch. Oh, the buffalo's gone for retaliate. No! Oh, Miss Snakey. Oh no. No, 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 no. It didn't happen. It. Oh, okay, it did. Oh. Oh, that sucks so much. I'm um, volcano still down. Okay, 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 right, okay. Okay. Right, miracle. Because miracle is quick and will get some damage off and uh, like I he might die. The only issue is that he might die. I need to get some damage off on one of these Pokemon. That buff line's gonna get all like confusioned up in its grill. Flappers, uh, you will use a super potion to get Volcano back to full health just in case he needs to come back in the battle. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. The crunch, yeah, that's a KO right there. Really sorry, Miracle. I didn't want to do that. And the Rock Tomb, that, that's definitely going to take down Flappers. No! Oh, Flappers, you beast! You monster! Oh, my God! Come on, Volcano! Get in here and do the damage! Right, incinerate. Slowly wear down both Pokemon. Oh no, because the Leech... Wait, does the Leech Seed on the Watchhog not count? Flappers, we're gonna, we're gonna heal you up. No, fla Flappers, we're going on the offensive! Air Cutter! Oh, okay, maybe not, we're going on the offensive. <laughs> Sorry, Flappers. Unnecessary crit by the Watchhog. Let's use incinerate and burn up any items they've got. Oh, the, oh, volcano avoided! And yes, we do have leech seed. It's gonna be going to volcano. Oh my god, we could win this! I need volcano and Fohawk to survive. They're like, oh, oh, the intimidate. Why did I not throw you out sooner? Why am I so stupid? Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. We need Bofflon out of this. Wing attack on Boffaland, that should KO. No, it won't! The Retaliate, it's stabbed, but no one died. Boffalant's down! Boffalant will not get to attack this turn, and it carries Rock Tomb, and we might have lost the Pokemon if it got to attack. Oh, we're gonna win. We, we had, we lost some good Pokemon today, but we're gonna win. She's why have you got a Furret? Oh, and she's got a super potion, hasn't she? Which she'll use on Watch Hog. Oh, I just thought I, got, I, was, I was thinking about going for a double quick attack. Okay, I, I was I was hitting you anyway for it, to be honest. Like, your wing attack was going to hit you. And I, does Incinerate still hit both, or does it just go for Farret? I think it still hits both. Yeah. Oh, that Farret's so close to dying! Okay, so we'll incinerate, obviously both, and we'll wing attack Watch Hog and hope that this is all over. Which would be nice. Oh! Oh, you, you hypnosis the wrong Pokemon, you stupid, stupid woman! Why did you carry Thunderbolt? What the hell? Yes! Oh, we won, and we had the two Pokemon I needed to survive the most that have survived. I didn't want anyone to die, but oh, people have survived. Volcano has grown to 25. I am so proud of you both. So, so proud. Why did people have to die? Oh, I've just realised I lost three Pokemon in like a Kadabra, a Snipe, a, um, a Servine, and a, a Natu. I'm, I'm not so bad about the Natu, but we've got two Pokemon. <laughs> Thankfully, these two Pokemon are good against the next gym leader, which is a bug type in Berg, but he's probably got some stupid counters. By then, I'm hoping to have, like, I don't know if I'll have Typhlosion, but I'll definitely have a Star Raptor. You know, because I'm sure he evolves at level 30. Dear! Oh, creepy music. Dear, come quickly! Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! Oh no! Bones! Well, Lenora can run! There's nothing interesting back here. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to deal with Team Plasma by the sounds of it, and and 
deposit three Pokemon, which really sucks. Yeah, Team Plasma here, there's some interesting music. Now you wait! Enough fooling around! So you've come, Gym Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. To show we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma! Puff! Wobble, 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 wobble. And they're like, oh my god, they stole a dragon's head. No, it's the worst crime ever. Slow walk. What's going on? Run away! Yes, yes, we will go after them. After I've done the important matters of depositing my Pokemon and... Oh, the, the Lenora's like... Ah, oh, look, it's, it's the bug. An interesting gentleman, this one is. Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Enigma! This is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's the Castellia City's gym leader. Eh? Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. And now we got Bianco. He's like, oh, hi, Enigma. What's everyone doing here? And then we got Sharon, Mr. Solus. Enigma, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends! I wouldn't consider them friends personally, but they're people I know. Bianca and Sharon, oh, I see, they are trainers. Okay then, let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Everyone, Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Berg and Enigma, you two search Pinwheel Forest. Got it? Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Ow, my throat. Uh huh, you are Enigma, is it? Are you raring to round up robsters? Our robsters? Robbers? Robbers? Whatever. Oh, oh, Enigma, take this with you. Fennel gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Oh, so we got a dowsing machine, which is, which is good. You know, the dowsing machine is always fun. Now, what did you tell me? Um, you can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. So you can, like, find stuff that, like, you totally can't even see. For now, all we need to do is protect the museum, right? <laughs> hey, wait for me! Yeah, like my Bianca voice just changed about three times there. Um, moving on. We have to do the, uh, the never, never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever fun task of, uh, depositing our dead Pokemon. So, uh, let's go to move. And uh, here is, a uh, Bananas, Fluffykins, and Johan. Yeah, some cool Pokemon in here, and they're, they're about to get some company. So, we have Miss, uh, we'll get, we'll get to you last. So... Flappers, you were the one I I were gonna miss the least. I'm not gonna lie, you were good for what you did. You you helped me get through that gym battle, and that's all I really asked of you. So, you served me well. Uh, it was nice to see you back after Fire Red Omega, but sadly it wasn't your time this time. And uh, thank you. Uh, Miracle. When I first saw Miracle, I thought there's no way we're catching this. It's just gonna get away. So I threw a great ball, and we actually caught him. That hence the name Miracle. Uh, Jolly Nature increases speed and lowers special attack. I was like, what the hell's this? And then I saw that it had Metronome, and I figured, what the hell? Let, let's use it in battle. When we got Roar of Time from our little Abra, and my eyes widened, and I saw this beautiful creation in front of me. And and since then it's, it's grown, it's evolved, and got a spoon from somewhere. And sadly, he can no longer come with us. So miracle, I will miss you. And Miss Snakey, you know our, our first ever Pokemon. What what a performance! Taking so many retaliate attacks and just that final one just did her in. You know, I I never got to get you to the dragon subtype I really wanted. But alas, we will move on and we'll part ways here with you in the dead box. I will always remember you and when I make it, I promise you to the championship round. I will be thinking of you when I win. We are left with Volcano the Quilava 
and Bohawk the Staravia as our remaining Pokemon. And we are going to carry on next episode. Right now, we'll just end it up with me uh, just covering the necessities with buying balls. Let's get two more great balls, and we have loads of Pokeballs. We don't need any potions. We'll take super potions. So we'll have four super potions, and now uh, we'll get a couple of potions. Like three will do. Leave us a bit of money. So. It's been an emotional half an hour of gym battles and end battles and craziness. And at the end of it, I'm standing tall, surprisingly, with Volcano and Fohawk, who I haven't healed. <laughs> Ignore everything. So, I'm standing tall after a gym where I really thought I was going to lose. We have two Pokemon left. But we're going to get another one next episode in the Pinwheel Forest. So, it's not all lost. We might get something good. I'm hoping we get something good. And yes, so uh, thank you very much for watching this really emotional part. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in Pinball Forest.